circling back in then Sorry. the whole point of the nuclear engineering it's that's when i kind of first realized that you know when you're chemical you know, whatever subspecialty you've got um that really like it's engineering science right they, they have these broad kind of concepts of engineering like thermodynamics mass transport process control where you know yes i learned it as a chemical engineer but the, the electrical engineers or the mechanical engineers were learning like the exact same things just with a different spin and flavor on it. Oh yeah. Right. And then, so you go to grad school and you know, my thesis had nothing to do with chemical engineering. It's nice computer vision, uh, which is in, in machine learning, which is awesome. classically very electrical engineering oriented. Right. And you're like, Oh, it's just like the same ideas, but now a little different. Wait, is it like, I, I never thought of it that way. So I always thought of machine learning as a software. It's probably just when I you know was exposed to it. Yeah. So is, was it like op maps? So like, how did that work from an electrical perspective? Well, it's you know, uh, the all the sort of the classical stuff in on the machine learning or the classification side. It's you know at very you know I'll, I'll I'm sure there's different ways to look at this, but sure. you know became it, it like the experts at the time were in electrical engineering. It was an electrical engineering problem. It's like this kind of you know it's, it's some type of filter of some sort that's going in and you're figuring this out and. You know, this is that what the filter sense. is, and this is what your output's going to be. So it's a lot like controls engineering. Yeah, is almost what it sounds like. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting way of looking at it. It's a, it's, it's a control. It's, you know, this is a process control issue of we have an input, there's a black box. Yep. And you know, we're we gonna have our output. output. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. How do we get there effectively? And so, what variables can we tweak to make that better, yeah. or even better? How can we get them to tweak themselves to, to optimize? Well, I mean, it's going to be the same thing with robotics then, because you know, it, it, this is kind of going into like, what's your black box? Is it, you know, is it having the some type of really complex AI algorithm that you've already trained to know how to like change things around to give you the right output, or is it some kind of classic, you know, like whatever filter or you know, like a like a really classic problem that's already been solved where you could yeah. do it with a slide ruler 